Do as many as you can in a row of each exercise and try to improve your score each week. For a push-up, your hands should be a little more than shoulder width, fingers spread apart. Start in the plank position with a straight body. Bend your arms to 90 degrees. This is the most important. If you can do military style, go for it. Only count regular push-ups, but to practice, you can drop your knees straight down and keep your weight forward. For squat jumps, feet are shoulder width apart. Squat down, keeping your heels planted. Your butt goes back and keep your shoulders over your ankles. From lowered position, jump up high, bringing your arms back. For captain's chair, you are seated. Bring your legs up, then your hands up. Lean back as you straighten your legs out. Keep your heels close to the ground and lean back farther than I am. Only count the ones with no hands, but you can practice with your hands down. For tricep dips, get a chair and place your hands close together with your fingers facing down. Put your legs straight out with heels on the ground. Lower your body straight down so you feel it in your triceps. For lunge jumps, jump into a lunge. Pretend there's a pull through your head, shoulder, and knee. Touch your knees to the ground. Jump so legs switch in the air. Keep your upper body in the same position. I notice that my legs are not hitting the ground, but I want you to only count the ones that do for consistency. For plank, you're going to need a timer. Put your forearms down. I like my hands flat, making a triangle. I don't know, I think it helps me focus. Uh, bring your legs out so your body is completely flat. You must tighten your abs for support. Do not let your belly sag down and do not lift your butt up. 